So when we load the project, we need to be able to read from our configuration file. And we will do that in the load event. So double click the form. So in the load event, we will open the configuration file. We will read the values, those booleans and the integer, and we will set the font accordingly. So the first thing we need is the stream reader so we can read the file. So I'll create an object of stream reader. And of course, we need to bring in the namespace, which is system.io. And this is going to be our input file. And we will create a new object. So it's going to be new stream reader. And as an argument, we will go to our application startup path, which is going to be the path to our node.ini file. So we'll go to application.startup path and we will concatenate the INI file. So node.ini. And I will go into read from that file and assign those values for the Boolean into our checked files in our bold, italic or underline. So we'll go to our bold format and check it if that's how our INI file is set up. So we will basically read whether it's true or false. So we will convert the text which says false into an actual Boolean. So we'll do convert that to Boolean and we'll read from the input file the first line. So we will read the line. Then we'll see if we want to have the italics checked. So we'll go to MNU italics format and do the same thing. We'll check it if it says true. So we will convert the text to a Boolean and again read the next line. So it's going to be input file and read line. And then we have the same for the underline. So it's going to be MNU underline format that checked. And once again, convert to Boolean and read the third line. So input file dot read line. And then we have the integer, which is going to set the font. So I'm going to create a variable integer i and we will read the fourth line, which is the number, whether it's a small font, medium or large. So this time we'll convert to integer. And let's read the next line. So input file dot read line. So now we read all four lines and we either have these checked or unchecked depending on whether it says false or true in our configuration file and we assign the value for a font into a variable. But it doesn't set the font itself. We first need to of course do a switch statement and see what the integer i actually says. So if it says one, then we will check the small size. If it says two, we will check the medium size and three would be for the large size. So let's do a switch statement and check in the i value. And if the case is one, so if the case is one, we want the small size font to be selected. So we'll go to our MNU format small size and we will basically click on it. So we will do the perform click. So that's basically as if the user clicked on it with the mouse. And then we will break. If the case is two, then we'll have the MNU format medium selected. So it's going to be medium size and perform the click. And finally, if it's the case three, then we will have the large size. So MNU format large size dot perform click. So once this is done, our configuration file was read and set up. We can now go and close the file. So input file dot close. And once this is done, we now call our change font method because that's the method that will set up the font inside the text editor. So we'll call change font. Now, of course, this is a load event, so it reads the file and sets the initial configuration based on what is saved in that file. But we also have to have a way to override what's in it. And we will do that in our closing form. So when we are closing the program, 
whatever the settings are currently for our text editor, that's the settings we want to preserve for the next time the text editor opens. So let's create that next.